JP Morgan has released a study on global billionaires. It's based on conversations with some of the world's wealthiest families who reveal both aspirations and concerns around family governance. And I'm joined by the MD and head of wealth advisory at JP Morgan, Maya Prabhu. Thanks so much for joining us today. Now, GCC family businesses really need to plan for the transition to the next generation. What are they doing well and what still needs improvement? Family businesses are critical to all economies and certainly here in the GCC. And planning for transition is inevitable. For family businesses, this is quite complex because it involves planning for leadership, for ownership, preparing employees, etc. But we found in our study that families in the region are really focusing on this. For example, nearly a third will ask their next generation to work outside the business. And nearly half are getting their young people, next generation, to enroll in educational courses to prepare them for these roles. And how critical would you say it is to establish procedures to avoid family conflict or to navigate it should it arise and what are these procedures well the first thing is it's really important to have the procedures in place let me give you an example exit strategies it may be that some shareholders wish to exit and it's much better in my experience to have established the procedure you know people react better if they know there are doors and windows in fact it makes them less want to exit but knowing if someone wished to, how this can be done, leads everyone to relax. So that's one of the exit, one of the policies, procedures in place. The second is around, should a dispute occur or difference of opinion occur, people are now focusing on mediation and arbitration rather than people getting so angry and wishing to go to court. So those are two procedures that people have in place. And what would you say is behind the growing number of family offices in the GCC? And at what point does a family really have the investments that require a family office? Absolutely. Well, the two reasons really for the growth. One is that there has been tremendous wealth creation in the region. And that means that people have outside of their businesses some liquid wealth, which they wish to diversify and invest in other sorts of industries. The second is that the region is so vibrant that it is attracting people to come and live there and work there and bring their wealth there, establish family offices there. And so this is driving the growth. In terms of, you know, every family office is unique. In some cases, you may have a few people. In some cases, you may have lots of people working there. It really depends on the size and the need of the family and how they wish to design their family office. And in what industries are GCC families really investing in right now? What sectors do you advise they focus on during this time of economic uncertainty? I would say that our studies show that technology, including biotechnology, is a hugely attractive sector. What families are looking to do is to diversify from their core businesses and to really look at new opportunities. Talking about succession planning in the next generation, it's an opportunity for the next generation to explore new industries as well. We find also that people are interested in private investments. So that is investing in other companies. And this, of course, there's an alignment, there's a long-term focus for both the family businesses, as well as uh, you know these um, uh, young companies that are looking to grow. And so the family investment is very useful for them. Of course, it requires a huge amount of expertise to find those right opportunities. And so some guidance along the way uh, is always helpful for the families. So what is your best advice for family offices to ensure success and to safeguard their assets for the next generation? Well, I think it is really around preparing your next generation to be active stewards of the wealth. Stewardship is not a, a sort of passive way that we just sort of see how things are. The world is full of disruption. There are lots of new things taking place uh, in society, lots of new opportunities, and really for families to invest in their next generation's education, learning, and for them to pick up that mantle is really the best thing to do. Because ultimately, it's about the people that steward the assets. Um, and then you've got that plan in place. Sound advice. Thanks so much for joining us. MD and Head of Wealth Advisory at JP Morgan Maya Prabhu. Thank you for having me.